Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about how to design user interface for our Android application totally from code behind, totally from main activity.java file. I'm not going to be touching anything inside this file uh, in design view or a text file or I'm going to add any element from this uh, layout to the design. Uh, instead, everything that I'm going to write will be in this class. All right, the benefit of it is that sometimes you want to uh, delete any element, update any element, or modify any element at runtime that you have never done uh, in your XML files. So you must know how to do it from the code behind, and that can be really helpful uh, in large applications. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to touch anything inside this file. I'm going to leave it as it is. And inside it, first of all, I'm going to comment this line. This line was using uh, to initialize the activity XML file that was already existed, activity underscore mail dot XML, uh, so that this uh, backend file should be used for that front end XML layout. All right. But in this course, I am going to talk about how to design UI totally from it. So I don't need to add this line. Instead, I will be adding my own layout that can be a linear layout, relative layout, or another layout totally from inside this Java file. All right, so first of all, what we need to do is uh, we need to import a few packages uh, so that we may um, add colors to our interface, add uh, designs, uh, to our interface so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import Android dot widget dot star import everything that is inside the widget package uh, widget means uh, all the elements like text boxes edit text boxes buttons and all other elements exist in this package all right another thing that I want to import is Android dot graphics dot star I'm importing this package because I want to add uh, some colors on my interface so I need to import this package all right so now I have commented this line now I need three variables right here uh, what I'm gonna make uh, as a user interface is that I'm gonna add a background color and then I'm going to add two edit text boxes and below those edit text boxes I'm gonna add a button all right so I need a layout and I'm going to be using a linear layout. So linear layout, let's add a variable for it. And after that, I need two text boxes that would be edit text boxes. Edit text one, edit text two. And lastly, I'll be having a button. Okay, first I need to set the properties for my layout. I need to add its width, its height, its background color, its gravity, its padding. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to create an object of it. So linear layout equals to new linear layout and I'm going to send its context to its constructor. So I have constructed my linear layout object. Now I need to set its properties by calling some of its functions. So first of all, I need to bring this layout to the center of my screen. So linear layout dot set gravity. And inside it, I need to tell it uh, that we need to horizontally bring the center. So I will say gravity dot center horizontal all right so I'm gonna copy this line and paste it below this and I'm gonna set it center vertical all right so I've set the gravity now I need to set some padding so linear layout dot set padding and 30 60 and then 30 again and 60 all right and after that I need to add some orientation that all the elements that I will be adding inside this layout whether it will be vertical or horizontal so I want 
to have those text boxes and the button uh, to be aligned vertically so I will set its orientation to vertical so linear layout dot set orientation and inside it I will send linear layout dot vertical okay and after that let's add a property I want to add a color so linear layout dot set background color and inside it I need to give it uh, a value so I need to have B A double F B F that will be a light green color actually it needs integer value so I need to parse it to color dot parse color all right so I have set some properties for my linear layout all right and after that I need to uh, set its parameters so for setting its parameters uh, I need to use linear layout dot linear parameters layout params and then I will call layout params equals to new linear layout dot layout params all right and inside its constructor I'm gonna give it uh, its width and height and I'm gonna give this layout uh, to add to to be able to contain all the elements that will be inside it and set it width according to that so I will set linear layout dot layout params dot wrap content all right and another thing I want to add it again because I want to set it uh, to the y-axis as well so I will copy this line and paste it below it as well all right so as I did with the linear layout object I set the gravity to horizontal and vertical all right I also need to set the layout uh, set the gravity for the layout parameters as well so layout params dot gravity and that would be equals to gravity dot center horizontal all right and after that I need to add some margins so layout params dot set margins and that would be 0 20 0 and 20 all right so everything is set up now I need to go back to my edit text boxes and the button I need to first create the objects of these two things and set some of its properties as well and then add those elements inside this linear layout all right so first let's go and edit text one dot no dot equals to new edit text and send its context and after that I will just set its one property and that would be the width because uh, I've already uh, bring the layout the linear layout to the center of my screen so I don't need to explicitly bring this edit text one to the center of my screen so set min width uh, 700 all right so I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna paste it for the edit text 2 as well so edit text 2 and lastly I need to instantiate my button variable as well so I'm gonna leave it uh, according to the length of the text so button dot set text login all right it can be anything I'm not gonna set the width of my button because it will be set 
accordingly with the length of my string all right so i'm done with it now in order to add all these three elements inside my linear layout i can use a function of linear layout and that is linear layout dot add view and inside it i will set edit text one and the second parameter would be the layout params All right, the layout param parameters are required because I want to tell uh, it that uh, you need to add this element uh, with respect to the properties of layout params. Okay, so I have copied this line and I'm gonna paste it below it and set it for the uh, edit text two as well and copy paste for the button. So I'm done with everything now the last thing that I want to do here is as uh, you saw that I commented out this line because I didn't want my this activity XML activity to be used for this Java code instead I want to initialize whole new activity from here alright so at the end what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set view set content view and I'm gonna set it with the linear layout all right another thing that I want to tell you is that I have already enabled the automatic imports of uh, my packages in the settings uh, so if you have missed to import this package uh, please make sure you have added this package in your Java file all right otherwise uh, you will face some errors by setting out the gravity and using this gravity class okay so that's pretty much it now I need to test it out so I'm gonna show it in the emulator so I'm gonna click on it and I've already selected this emulator you can choose other emulator as well so I'm gonna click OK so it's gonna take some time so you can see that my application have been started uh, it can take uh, as much time as it depends upon the machine on which we are running our emulator so you can see that I have the green background I have this text box and I have another edit text box and below that uh, I have this login button and everything is at the center horizontally and vertically if I click on it you can see that I'll be having a uh, keys uh, on my device all right so everything is working same as we make UI in our XML file so I hope that you have got the idea how you can design uh, the user interface from code behind directly from the Java file if you want to create complex uh, user interface with other elements uh, you can do it same as I did here you can use other layouts like uh, grid layout relative layout instead of linear layout so make sure you thumbs up and subscribe my channel and comment below if you have any question thanks for watching